All right, what's going on, y'all? Uh, Friday Night Magic this week is Artisan, and I want to try out Artisan Rogues, because most of the good cards that are in the Rogues deck are commons and uncommons, like Soaring Thought Thief, Drown in the Log, Norfolk Wind Robber, uh, the Crab, of course, and Into the Story, and Of One Mind. All of these are non-rares, which means you can play them in Artisan. The only key piece that you're missing is the Thieves Guild Enforcer, which we've attempted to replace here with Zalaport Duelist. It is also a rogue, it also mills one of ETBs, although, of course, it requires your opponent to control a creature for it to mill, and it's not nearly as good as Thieves Guild Enforcer, generally. So I'm a little worried that we're not going to have enough mill action going to really get into the story running, so that's why we've gone down to three of those. And since the uh, mana base often takes up a lot of rares in the rogues deck, we had to make a lot of adjustments there. So we're running Dismal Backwaters and Evo Wilds, because Evo Wilds still triggers the crab twice, which is very nice. And then we've got some spell lands in Black, Bro Black Bloom Rogue, which is a rogue, as Menace. And if your opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, it is a 5-3, which is pretty strong for three mana. Or it can be a tapped Black Land. Uh, Palaka Predation has been seen in Saltai lately. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a card from it with CMC 3 or greater. They discard it. Or a tapped black land. Uh, pretty solid card if your opponent's playing big spells. And Jwari Disruption we've seen. Tapped blue land or a sensor. Not too bad at all. And the rest has been unchanged. One test of talents. Two Heartless Axe. D-Stroke. Some Blood Chief's Thirst for a bit more removal, and yeah, that's the deck. No sideboard, because Artisan is a best of one format in Arena. Uh, yeah, let's go try it out. is awkward, but we're doing things, so I think we can keep it. Guess we can hold the Evo Wilds until we find a crab. If our opponent finds the crab on their own. That's a little rough. hold for the Thought Thief so we can play at instant speed, generally better. Looks like our opponent might be playing the same exact deck. Which they got the best mill engine going, which may be a significant advantage for them. No, they're playing Sage of Mysteries and green. Very interesting. Alright, let's get a wind robber down. I don't know what I'd really be eager to test of talents here, so we'll hold on to that for the moment. Shrines and crab. Fascinating. But only Sultai shrines so far. I'm very confused. Go get another blue here so we can play a wind robber and hold up test of talents, I think. Or we could just kill their crab. I am concerned about this crab, and since they're playing shrines, I doubt they have many creatures that I'm going to be more concerned about. So I haven't seen any strong instants, so let's just go for the rogues here. If they have one of the sweepers, they they have it. There's not that many that are playable in uh, Artisan. There's what, suffocating fumes they could have here. Would blow out all the wind robbers. Elspeth's Nightmare, that's fine. Kills our Thought Thief and takes our Test of Talents. Which is not ideal, but... 
could be worse. Go ahead and get another black here, keep our mana even. We don't really want to draw lands here. Definitely want to do this. All right, now we have a counter spell no matter what they take. Not too bad. And now our wind robbers are turned on. Really, I'm more concerned about test of talents than drown. They're much harder into turbo mill than we are, but without a thought thief, we're not uh, really attacking them hard enough. So they're probably winning the race at this point. to hold the land here. At least Elspeth's Nightmare means that they can't have a drown or into the story of their own here. Mm. That gains them more life and ramps them, which I think is a problem. And the drown is face up, so we're gonna have to use it at some point anyway. We can't keep waiting around for the perfect hit because they'll just keep waiting too. Resolves, okay. They held a counter spell for this. We're in a bit of a rough spot here, I think. Okay, no counter. Let's go to, to attacks. That crab means we can start winning the mill race. However, I think we'd rather hold up Drown. We don't have enough blue to do both. And we hold the land so we can make the land drop with the crab down next turn. fine. I guess it does mill us for four between the sage and the tutelage. But if we land this crab, we're winning the mill race. Alright, that's what we held the drown for. Black Bloom Rogue can start actually doing damage to our opponent. 
Summons a five power creature with menace. So they bind it. Yep, interesting. I guess binding is a very good reason to play green. It is quite a card. Alright, well, Call of the Death Dweller is not bad. Probably should have done it before attack so we could get the Thought Thief back. So that's an oops. Let's see, do we want a crab or a wind rubber? Probably a wind rubber. I think we're winning by damage here. They say good game. I'm not sure if they think they're dead to these rogues or if they think they can mill me out here. Alright, that mills me for eight. It's not lethal. Although if they can kill the Thought Thief, we don't really have any chance of winning here. There's, we could draw a drown. Let's try it. <sighs> End of the story is not good enough. It has to be drown. Okay, we still have four damage on board. If they have another end of the story though, we lose. again here. It's possible we should just be playing Teferi's Tutelage instead of some of the other nonsense cards in here. It's almost certainly better than a Zulaport Duelist. Counters. Kind of want to hold up Troy Disruption here. Because Zulaport Duelist can't kill a Conclave Mentor. But we need to get a Black Source down so we can start Blood Chief's Thirsting. It's a 5-5 Fearless Fledgling. Luckily it does die to Blood Chief's Thirst. Blood 
let's not take this damage. Okay, and then we can hold up Chori Disruption. story is turned on we can heartless act next turn yeah they're dead probably out of gas or at least just tired of playing against a rogue scammer but I do think we would be better off with tutelage here Because even against the fairly aggressive matchup, Zulaport Duelist only prevented two damage. It doesn't really do much unless you're blocking something with two or less power and one toughness when you play it. Otherwise, it just mills two gain two life and is a 1 1, which isn't really that great. I think we can just cut those. Everything else is fine. Black Bloom Rogue is a reasonable valued creature for this format. Might be D Stroke and Test of Talents should just be negate for this one, but we'll keep trying those. There's only one of each, so it's not a huge deal. and crab can't really go wrong hello they can't even kill it with frostbite anytime soon uh, see it doesn't really matter which we go for here I guess we'll do this just in case they play dragon fire or something else that would kill our crab next turn So I'll do both of them now. They could always kill our crab in response to the uh, crack next turn, which we don't really want. Looks like they're playing Is It Flyers? Yeah. And pass. We can either Heartless Act something or play our Thought Thief. Dorat. Yeah, we can ambush the Dorat with Soaring Thought Thief, so I think that is the play here. And then we're in a very good spot. Not sure I want to play the tutelage just yet though. Though yeah, I guess we're in a good enough spot. We can afford to fall behind on board a little bit. I think disdainful stroke is the worst card in this hand. Especially since we've only seen one card so far that it hits, which is Goblin Wizardry, which we're not super afraid of.
draw two, attack with riddle form, fine. The more cards they draw, the less cards I have to mill. Can't really complain. Don't care about Symmetry Sage, it never gets big enough to kill my Thought Thief. Or block Thought Thief. Spike Field Hazard to face Shore. If they don't do anything else here. Might just Heartless Act the Riddle form. Since we're not doing anything else this turn, and we can't Blood Chiefs Thirst it. Lofty Denial is fine. Hey, something here is holding priority for them. It's Probably an opt. Maybe a frostbite. If they had frostbite, I think they would have already killed my thought thief, though. Could be another infuriate. Spike field hazard. Sure. So they plan to two for one themselves with their symmetry sage. I can stop that by. Uh, one for wanting to kill the Symmetry Sage. And then, do I want to mill them here or take out their hands more? I think we're doing okay on the mill. We can afford to look at their hands. Ah, uh, they have nothing. Sure. Can't really complain about that. They can spike field hazard face and attack with riddle form again for four more damage. Uh, or they can top deck a good card. Second riddle form, huh? This blood chief's thirst is starting to look real bad. But we're not dead just yet. I think we have to keep milling here. So that is our win con in this case. We're definitely not winning the uh, life points race. Yep, if they have an infuriate here, we're dead. No Infuriate. Fling would also do it. Or some similar card. Another Symmetry Sage will not. Okay, that's minus two. And then this land is minus three. And attacking with the Thought Thief is minus two. And then they draw on zero and we win. Unless they can kill the Thought Thief here, which they cannot. So, GG, very close one. We get Opportunistic Dragon, eh? That's not usually a very good one, but it is an interesting one. Try one more game here. should be fine. We have some rogues to start doing things, and we have interaction, and we have end of the story, and we have lands. We 
don't have a whole lot of mill, but we do have at least a little bit. Kind of want to hold up Jwari and Heartless Act here, so I'm glad we drew the untapped land. Next turn we can play the Dismal Backwater. Uh, I don't think I'm afraid of that. If it starts to be a problem, yeah, let's just Heartless Act it. We're not doing anything else this turn. Crab, always a welcome draw. Does mean we can't into the story yet, and it does look like our opponent wants things in their graveyard. But that just might just make it easier for us to turbo mill them out. Or it might end up uh, biting us back. Alright, they are afraid of the crab. Fair enough. Okay, Wind Robber's turned on. I think we want to keep hitting our land drops. Play out another threat here. Next turn we can end the story. Three mana, three three trample, mill three on ETB. Sir Conrad combo, oh boy. That is, that is something. And we hit the land here, and they're not playing blue, so we'll wait for their turn to end of the story. So what I think our opponent is trying to do is have Sir Conrad on the battlefield and then put a whole bunch of creatures into their graveyard and use that to burn out the opponent, which is very interesting. I can't imagine it works that well unless they land their two mana three ones and get to start attacking early. All right. Yeah, end of the story is pretty pretty powerful for this format. It's pretty powerful for any format, but well, for standard anyway, not any format, but it's pretty powerful in the regular rogues deck, and here it is. Usually just wins the game. So yeah, putting into various tutelage definitely uh, helps the longer games. It makes your mill plan much stronger than Zulaport Duelist. It is worth noting though that without Zulaport Duelist you only have six humans, so you're a bit less likely to uh, hit of one mind for cheap, so you might be better going back up to four into the stories, because Tiberius Tutelage mills them more easily and does not count as a human for of one mind, whereas Zulaport doesn't mill as much, but does count as a human. But yeah, other than that, this deck is pretty solid for the Artisan format. Uh, pretty uh, fun, interactive, what everyone loves about rogues. You know, you just get to sit there being evil and watching their, watching their deck crumble away. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.